Millions love Batman because he's a regular man in peak physical condition capable of doing amazing things. I identify more with the out of shape middle aged Batman that's good at puzzles. This car is arguably the most famous Hollywood car across many generations. The 1966 Batmobile from... Though this is considered to be the very first Batmobile, in 1949, short Batman snippets would play in movie theaters ending in cliffhangers to keep people coming back every week. The car Batman drove on screen was a regular 1939 Cadillac. If the top was down, it was Bruce Wayne. If the top was up, Batman was in action. Then, in 1963, Forrest Robinson of New Hampshire built a touring Batmobile out of a 1956 Oldsmobile Rocket 88 for all-star dairy products to use to promote its line of Batman dairy treats. In 1955, Ford made a concept car in Italy called a Lincoln Futura. It came off too futuristic and never made it to production. In 1959, the rom-com It Started With A Kiss used it in their movie, and then afterwards it sat for like a decade. In 1966, the Batman show producers came to George Barris and gave him three weeks to build a Batmobile for them. Barris bought that Futura from Ford for $1. Three weeks and about $15,000 later, the Batmobile was born. But test shots look kind of bland, so they painted it a shiny black to pop more on screen. There wasn't CGI in the 60s, so all the special effects actually had to work. The rocket was a propane burner. The parachutes were real, and the oil sprayers were made from lawn sprinklers. Barris got creative with the base of the bat phone. It's actually just a painted toilet plunger. The Batmobile you're looking at is an original licensed George Barris Batmobile. Very few legit Batmobiles were ever built that legally carried the trademark. George Barris had pulled molds off the original to produce an additional 13 Batmobiles. The number one Batmobile recently sold at an auction for an astonishing $4.6 million. This is Batmobile number 14. Of the Barris built Batmobiles, this one closest imitates car number one in detail and authenticity. If you check out the hood, it's been autographed by both George Barris and Adam West. Thank you for watching, and if you want to see another movie car, tune in tomorrow, same bat time, same bat channel. One day, Bruce Wayne learned that his great, 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 great grandmother encountered a vigilante who called himself the Man of Bats. It was his Nana's, 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 Batman.